Okay, so group 1 metal. Uh, group 1 metal is also called alkaline metals. Eh? Alkaline metal. And you need to remember this. Eh? And why it's called alkaline metals? Because the oxide and the hydroxides of group 1 metals, uh, they will dissolve in water. They can dissolve in water and uh, give alkaline solutions. Eh? And therefore, it's called alkaline metals. So, group 1 metals are alkali former. They form alkali. Eh? So, it's called alkali metals. Uh, elements in group 1 metals. Eh? Elements in group 1 metals. Uh, from here, we can see that uh, we have lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Eh? Okay. Uh, in some of the book, they give you another one here, hydrogens. Eh? Hydrogens. But hydrogen, the physical and chemical properties is very different from group 1 metals. Eh? So, uh, therefore, we separate it. Okay, we do not put hydrogens under group 1 metals. Eh? Okay, okay. so these are the elements in group 1 metals. And uh, you need to memorize the first four. Okay, the first one is lithium, second one sodium, potassium, rubidium. And you need to memorize the first four. And you need to know the arrangement. Okay, you need to know the first one is lithium and, the la uh, and then the fourth one is rubidium. Eh? Okay, second one is sodium and third one is potassium. Eh? So you need to know the arrangements also. Eh? So that is about the elements in group 1 metals. So all these uh, group 1 metals, uh, they have one valence electrons. Eh? Okay, the electrons arrangement is 2, 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 8, 8, 1. Eh? They have one valence electrons. And uh, since they have same numbers of valence electrons, eh, so uh, chemically, eh, they behave in a similar manner. It means that they have similar chemical properties. Similar, so you, you, you can even say they have same chemical properties. They are very reactive, as I told you just now. Uh, they must be stored in oil. Usually it's in a paraffin, eh, mineral oil, like paraffin, okay, to prevent reaction with oxygen or uh, water vapor in air. So you can see that lithium is put into uh, oil, sodium is also put into oil. Uh, okay, this uh, potassium is put into a tube. Okay, rubidium and cesium also is put into a tube. Okay, this is about the physical properties, eh? and from here we can see that the electrons arrangements, eh? all of them has one valence electrons, and the melting point increase, increase, and the boiling point also increase eh? down the group, and the density also increase eh? down the group. Okay. So that's the tables about uh, about these uh, physical properties. So they exist as solid at room temperature, okay? Except uh, cesium. Eh? Cesium uh, is uh, it can be liquid eh, at room temperature, and uh, all of them are metals. Eh? So they have typical metallic properties, okay? So what are the typical metallic properties? First, they are good conductors of heat, okay? A good heat conductors, and then it's also the good conductors of electricity. Uh, high boiling point, high boiling point. Okay, so that are the typical uh, metallic uh, properties. Eh? Okay, but group one metal also shows some uh, non-typical metallic properties. Okay, even though they are the metals. Eh? For example, it has low melting point. Metal usually has high melting point, eh? but uh, group one metals they have they have low melting point. Okay, and uh, low density. Okay, the first three, yeah, uh, the density even lower than water. So therefore, if you put it into a water, they, they will flood on the surface of the water because they have low density. Usually metal has high density, yeah, but uh, group one metals, they have low density. And they are very soft, means that you can cut it by even uh, cut it by using a knife. Okay, it's like not it's not like other metals. Other metals is a uh, it's very hard, right? Okay, it's very hard uh, and you cannot cut it easily, right? Okay, but uh, group 1 metals, you can cut it easily. Changes down the group, uh, changes down the group. Uh, important trends uh, down the group. First is the size size of the atoms. Uh, the size will increase. The size increase due to the increase of the number of shell. Uh, okay, melting point and boiling point uh, will decrease. Melting point, boiling point decreases. Uh, density will increase and the uh, hardness will decrease okay so that is the trends uh, down the group uh, for the first three you need to know the explanations uh, okay the first three you need to know the explanation but for the last one uh, you don't need to know the explanation you don't need to explain why the hardness will decrease uh. the size okay is very easy because the number of uh, shell increase right so that's a uh, changes down the group uh. 
Okay, size of uh, atom, size of atom down the group. Okay, you can see that it increase. Uh, increase due to the increase of the shell of electrons. Eh? Okay, increase of the number of electron shell. Okay, that's the uh, size of atoms. And uh, this one, uh, two shell, three shell, four, five, six, six shell. Okay, so uh, the more shells in the atoms, the bigger is the atom. Eh? Boiling and melting point. Okay, so the boiling and melting point decreases. Eh? Decreases. The first one has a uh, quite high. Eh? The melting, the boiling point. Okay, after that it decreases, right? Okay, and uh, you need to know the explanations eh, for this. Why the boiling point decreases down the group? Okay, just now for group eighteen, eh, the melting and boiling point increase or decrease down the group. For group eighteen. Increase, eh? okay, it increase, eh? uh, but for group one it decrease, okay, for group one it decrease, eh? so group eighteen it increase is because uh, the force between the particles are van der Waals force, right, and the strength of the van der Waals force, how strong the force depends on what for group eighteen, non metals, the strength of the force depends on what, the size of the particles, right, the bigger the size, the stronger the force, right, okay, now this is. Metal group eighteen are non metals. Eh? Uh, group one they are metals, eh? and for metals the force between the particles are metallic bond. Okay, metal and metals. Eh? The force are metallic bond, and the metallic bond for metallic bond the strength depends on the distance. The strength depends on the distance. Okay, so it's different. Eh? For group 18, the strength depends on the size of the particles. The bigger the size, the stronger the force. Eh? But for metallic bond, the strength depends on the uh, distance. The closer the atoms, the stronger the bond. Means that if they are very close to each other, then the force are very strong. Eh? Okay. Down the group, the size of the atom increases. Eh? But if the size of the atom increase, this will cause the distance between the atoms decrease. Oh, sorry, the distance increase. Sorry, yeah. So let's say lithium. This is lithium. Okay, there's another lithium. Eh? Okay, so they are solid. Eh? So they are very near to each other. So this is the distance. Okay, lithium. Sodium. Big sodium is bigger. Okay, so this is sodium. Okay, sodium. So you see the distance. Distance is from the center to the center. Okay, potassium even bigger. Even bigger. Okay, so these are the distance between the particles. Okay, so from here we can see that the bigger the atoms, the greater the distance between the particles. Okay, the greater the distance between the particles, and uh, therefore the strength of this uh, metallic bonds will decrease. Eh? When the distance increase. Okay, the strength will decrease, and uh, when the strength decrease, then less energy is needed to overcome this force during melting or boiling process. Okay, so this is the explanation. Sir. So you see, there are different types of force. Uh, compare when we compare to uh, compare with this uh, group eighteen, group eighteen elements. Group eighteen, they are non-metals. The force between the particles are when the wall force. Group one, they are metals, and the force between the particles are metallic bond. So two types of force, uh, the the strength is different, okay, and the factors that affect the strength is also different. Density, uh, the density are low compared to other metals. Uh, this one you need to know, uh, okay. Other metals usually the density is higher, but group one the density is low, and the density will uh, the first three the density is lower than water so therefore you put into waters it will flood on the surface of the water but the density increases down the group okay down the group uh, the explanation is the same eh? explanation is the same uh, that is because density equals to mass over volume eh? so the increase of the mass is uh, higher compared to the increase of the volume down the group and therefore uh, the density increase down the group eh? The explanation is exactly the same as the explanation for group 18. Okay, for the chemical properties, the first, the very first thing that you need to know is uh, all group 1 metals are very reactive metals. Huh? Very reactive means that they can uh, easily react with other elements 
and uh, they, they react with in a in a very high rate high rate means very fast okay they react very fast with uh, other elements okay so that's uh, the first thing that you need to know they are very reactive huh? okay they are in the same group okay they have same number of, of valence electrons uh, so therefore they have same chemical properties okay they have same chemical properties huh? okay and uh, they can react with water uh, non-metals, non-metals like uh, oxygen and chlorine. Actually, of course, uh, they can react with uh, many others uh, non-metals. Uh, here uh, in our syllabus, we would only discuss uh, reactions of group one with oxygen and chlorine. It can react with bromine, iodine. Eh? Okay, but we will only discuss the reactions between oxygen and chlorine. Eh? Okay. Okay, that's what you need to know. And then some. Um, Okay, so see, look, let's look at this table. Okay, this table shows the electrons arrangements of group one metals. Uh, you only need to uh, remember up to the third elements, lithium, sodium, potassium. This one, uh, you don't need to memorize it. Okay, those involve 18, 32, you don't need to know. Eh? Okay, so you just need to know how to write uh, the electrons arrangements for the first three elements in group one. Eh? Okay, so lithium 2 1, sodium 2 8 1, and potassium 2 8 8 1. Okay, and um, you can see that they have uh, same numbers of valence electron and therefore they have uh, same chemical properties. Uh, and uh, that's also the reason why they are put in under the same group. Eh? Okay, because the same group they, have, they, they must have same numbers of valence electrons. Okay, so the, all, the, uh, all of them uh, consist of one valence electrons. Uh, when an alkali metal's uh, atoms react, it loses the valence electrons to form a positive charge ions. Uh, this, this shows the examples uh, of the half equations. Now, what does this mean? Sir? Now, we are going to discuss a uh, chemical bond in the next chapter. We are going to learn uh, how uh, an atoms react. Okay, so then we are going to discuss this. For the, for the time being, you just need to know that for group 1 metals, they have one valence electrons, for example. Uh, let me draw it. Uh, lithium. Okay, lithium, uh, it has uh, 2, 1, uh, 2, 1, uh, the electrons arrangement is 2, 1. And uh, in the reactions, it will throw away these electrons. Uh, it will throw away these electrons to react. And after throwing away these electrons, okay, then uh, it only has uh, 2 electrons, right? 2 electrons, uh, okay. And uh, after throwing this electron, which is which carry negative charge, eh? so then uh, the charge of this uh, lithium will become positive because it loses electrons. Eh? Electron carry negative charge, so uh, losing negative charge eh, will make it become positive. Okay, and this electron is separated from uh, these atoms. Eh? Okay, so then so we write plus electron to show that this electron is released from the atoms already. Eh? Is separated from the atoms already. Okay. Uh, that is what is shown in this uh, equations. Uh, okay, before that is an atom. Okay, before that is an atom. Uh, so this is an atom. Okay, and after the reactions, it throw away these electrons. So the electrons separated uh, from uh, the atoms, uh, and the atoms become ion, become positive ions. Okay, so the atoms become positive ion. Okay, so all group one metals, uh, they uh, throw away one electrons uh, to react. Okay, every time when they react, uh, they will throw away one electrons to react. Okay, so uh, that's what you need to know. So it loses the valence electron uh, to form a positive charge ion and then react. Uh, and they tend to react mainly with non-metals to form ionic compounds. So they, they will only react with non-metals. They won't react with metals, uh, okay? Like uh, lithium cannot react with uh, sodium and uh, sodium cannot react with uh, potassium. They cannot react with metals, they, they can only react with non-metals.